we're taking our inspiration from northern Italy today, and we're going to make a very simple Italian dessert, a perennial favourite, but it's tiramisu. The one thing that you can't do with that is mascarpone cheese. It's, it really is the taste of the dessert. Boudoir biscuits, or what some people call long de char, cat's tongues, and coffee. A really good tiramisu will be made with cafeteria coffee, with ground, uh, ground coffee, but I think we're trying to keep it simple. It's stuff you can have in your cupboard, so we're going to use instant coffee today. The other things you're going to need are a couple of eggs, some double cream, some caster sugar, vanilla, if you just have uh, vanilla essence that'll do as well, um, some sort of alcohol, usually it's Kahlua or Tia Maria or some type of coffee liqueur, you can use masala wine, I actually like rum in it so that's what we're going to use today, and the final topping is a nice good cocoa powder. So I've put three tablespoons of my ground coffee granules and I've used the same three tablespoons of caster sugar uh, with a little bit of boiling water just to dissolve it. I've topped it up with about three quarters of a cup of cold water so it's not too hot. And now we're going to add our alcohol. It's a taste thing really, you don't want it to be too strong but you do want to be able to taste the alcohol. So let's add a couple of nice capfuls, let's make it three shall we, of rum to the mixture. So what I've done, I've got my dish. It's always nice to have a clear glass dish so that you can see the layers once you've made your tiramisu. I've laid them all out like little soldiers and I've covered, completely covered the bottom of the dish with the biscuits. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carefully pour over the coffee mixture. You don't wanna have too much because it really doesn't wanna to be too soggy, but you wanna have enough so that the biscuits will be totally covered with the coffee. So you're probably going to use about half of the mixture you have. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to leave this to set while we make our tiramisu mixture. I've got 500 grams of mascarpone cheese, which are going into the bowl. I always use a bowl that's got quite a lot of capacity because you're going to be doing a bit of mixing here, so it's just going to be easier if we have a bit of space. Then we're going to add to it double cream. This is already extra thick double cream but if you don't have that just use normal double cream and whip it up. Now to this we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of sugar. Um, I've just cracked a couple of whole eggs into this. What I would say though is that if you're going to make this and you've got any young kids or pregnant babies I would suggest that you use pasteurized eggs because if you're not going to eat this within the next 12 to 24 hours, it's not such a good idea to make it with using raw eggs because they do go off much more quickly than anything else. And as we're going along, we're going to add a few drops of our vanilla essence. Vanilla is such a lovely flavour that if you're particularly fond of it, go ahead and just add a little bit more. You're not going to ruin the taste. So in the last few minutes, our Buddha biscuits have absorbed all the coffee. And we're now going to begin our layering. The first thing we're going to do now is to add the first layer of our tiramisu cream. You want to get half of the quantity into the bowl. Your tiramisu is now ready to set in the fridge and the final, t the final thing is to put the cocoa on the top. I always prefer to let it set properly before I add the coffee, the, the cocoa powder. And the reason is that if you do add it straight away you'll find that it actually looks quite wet when you take it out. So put it in the fridge, you'll need to leave it for three or four hours at least, if not overnight. And when you're ready to go, then you can add the cocoa. So if there's someone special in your life and you just want to personalize this a little bit, here's a little tip. 
I've cut out a little heart shape with some um, with some paper. And now we're going to add the cocoa powder to the top of the tiramisu. Use a sieve, because you don't really want lumps of lumps of cocoa around your dessert. And very carefully, very gently, lift off your little heart. And there you are, finding for love.